Rocket launch from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility, NASA. NASA's rocket launch that should be visible from Jacksonville has been delayed to Sunday, no earlier than 8.03 p.m. With a launch window of 40 minutes. This was due to unsafe wind conditions. A Black Brandt 12 sounding rocket taking off from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia will provide an interesting sight in the northeast sky Sunday night May 9 at 8.03 p.m. Not only should the blast off be visible from much of the eastern United States and Bermuda, but the experiment it performs may produce high-energy auroras in the sky. Map shows when the rocket may be visible after launch from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. Two vapor clouds will form north of Bermuda about 9 minutes and 30 seconds after launch. Scientists hope to explore energy transport in space using a NASA suborbital sounding rocket that emits colorful vapor traces to stimulate electrons in Earth's near space environment. The barium vapor clouds emitted from the rocket's payload will generate a magnetic field perturbation that could energize electrons. NASA insists the barium vapor is not harmful to the environment or public health. The process is similar to how auroras develop over the planet's polar regions when particles in the Earth's near space environment interact with the atmosphere, although it is not expected to form as many visible colorful clouds. NASA mission, called Kinet-X, is designed to study a very fundamental problem in space plasmas, namely, how energy and momentum are transported between different regions of space that are magnetically connected. Live coverage of the mission will be available on the Wallops IBM video site, previously Ustream, beginning at 7.40 p.m. on launch day. Launch status updates can be found on the Wallops Facebook and Twitter sites. Click here to read more. Copyright 2021 by WJXT News 4 Jax, all rights reserved. About the author, Mark Collins after covering the weather from every corner of Florida and doing marine research in the Gulf, Mark Collins settled in Jacksonville to forecast weather for the first coast.